Hello children, welcome to your maths class. In the previous class, we discussed about types of fractions. In this video, we will learn about fraction of a collection. Here, you can see there is collection of apples and in all there are 20 apples. And if we have to find out half or 1 by 2 of 20, it will be exactly 10. We have to divide them into two equal groups as the denominator here is 2. So each group will have 10 apples. So our final answer will be 10. Here what fraction of the square is blue? Now here we have group of squares in which some are red and some are blue. So the first thing is that we will find out the denominator by counting the total number of squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the denominator is 9 as there are 9 squares. To find the numerator we will count the number of blue squares as it is asked in the question. 1, 2, 3, 4. So our numerator will be 4 and the fraction that we will get is 4 by 9. The fraction of blue squares is 4 by 9. That means out of total 9 squares 4 are blue. Here is another example. What fraction of snowmen have green hats? Now to find the fraction, first we will find out the total number of snowmen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So in all there are 11 snowmen. And the one who are wearing green hats are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 is our numerator and denominator is 11. And the fraction is 5 by 11. The next one. What fraction of these birds are parrots? Now there are two types of birds in this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Total are 7 and out of that some are owls and some are parrots. We have to find out the fraction of parrots. 1, 2 and 3. 3 are parrots. So the fraction formed here will be 3 by 7 as 3 are the parrots and total number of birds are 7. But every time it is not possible for us to represent it in a picture form. In such case we do calculations. The denominator tell us how many parts to divide into. For example, finding one third of an amount is the same as dividing that amount by 3. So here is an example 1 by 3 of 30. That means 30 is to be divided into 3 equal parts. So we divide 30 divided by 3 and in each part we will get 10. 10 20 and 30, 10, 10 and 10. Now the fraction says that we have to take only one part of it. That means only this much. So that makes only 10. So the final answer will be 10. Okay. The numerator tells us how many parts we want. Okay. Denominator tells us the total parts and numerator tells us the how many parts parts we want. Now for example if we are asked to find out two third of an amount we need two parts. Here 1 by 3 of 30 as we have done here it is given 10, 10 and 10 equal parts. Right? Now out of that we are going to take only two parts 1 and 2. First part 10 plus 10 more that will make 
ट्वेंटी सो टू थर्ड ऑफ थर्टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी लेट्स मेक इट मोर क्लियर विद दी मोर एग्जाम्पल्स वेन वी वर्क आउट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ एन अमाउंट वी मल्टीप्लाई बाय द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिवाइड बाय द डिनोमिनेटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू बाय थ्री ऑफ एटीन लीटर्स सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट एटीन लीटर्स इज टू बी डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री इक्वल पार्ट्स सो एटीन डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री दैट विल गिव अस सिक्स लीटर्स नाउ ऑफ दिस वी हैव टू टेक टू पार्ट्स सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई सिक्स लीटर्स बाय टू सिक्स टूज आर ट्वेल्व सो द फाइनल आंसर विल बी ट्वेल्व लीटर्स hope the concept is clear to you the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics do practice sums and you will master the concept thank you